Hi, I'm Tom Dempsey here at the Jazz Academy at Jazz at Lincoln Center. Today we're going to talk about playing in a trio, specifically a guitar trio, and some different concepts related to accompaniment, uh, as well as some soloing ideas. So, why don't we play a tune? How about uh, Pennies from Heaven? Well, that was really great. Let's talk about a couple of things that I was hearing uh, in relationship to what went on there in that performance. One of the great things about jazz, of course, is that there's a multitude of ways to play any one tune. So some of the opinions and some of the things that I'm going to talk about here are just some things that I was hearing in relationship to how I play. It's important to remember that the guitar is both a melodic instrument and a harmonic instrument. So sometimes when you're playing the melody, you might want to try to bring in some more chords mm -hmm. in the gaps in between the melody and also to accompany yourself when you're playing your solo. Not a lot of chords necessarily because one of the things that's really effective in playing in a trio context is to play using guide tones. Now guide tones are the thirds and sevenths of the chords, but the third and seventh played with the bass player playing the root really fills out the harmony of the song nicely. On our instrument, as soon as we strike a note, it immediately starts to decay. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, there's, you can have situations where guitar players are not playing as legato as would be desired to play this music and to play it, you know, really if you think about the sound of horn players and if you think about how they're able to connect notes through the breath that they're put through the instrument, we as guitar players have um, that as a, uh, not something that we can do naturally. So we have to really focus on connecting notes. So one of the things that I would suggest is to try and think about bringing in some other kinds of harmonic sounds when you're playing the melody or playing uh, your solo and also to try to let the chords ring out. 
let's try you playing uh, a little bit of your solo and try to see if you can accompany yourself bringing in some guide tones. Okay, so I was hearing more of the harmony there uh, than when than the first time when you were just playing the single note lines. Now try to play a little bit less with the uh, guide tones and try to play them a little bit lower, okay. like on the third and fourth strings. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, that's getting even better. Now try to let those chords ring out more. Instead of playing them sh so short, let them ring. Mm. And you don't have to play as many articulations of them. Mm. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So to recap, remember that we as guitar players have to be responsible for not only the melody, but also the harmony. So it's important when you're playing the melody to the song and when you're improvising to make sure that you address the harmony not only in your improvised line, but also bringing in some chords to accompany what you're playing. Also keep in mind that on the guitar, as soon as we strike a note, it immediately starts to decay. So we really have to be conscious of that so that we can start to connect our notes and play in a real legato fashion. I'm Tom Dempsey. Thanks for joining me here at the Jazz Academy.